Hello, my name is Gabriel. Hi, my name is Bruno. And we are both staff members for the Office of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. And today we are hosting an event to celebrate black history and to recognize the many achievements and lasting contributions that the black community has left for the United States. To me, Black History Month means filling out the gaps of information that has been missing due to systematic racism from the past where people of color, particularly the black community, um, their contributions and their icons uh, were basically uh, removed or not allowed to be part of the history. And Black History Month is to me a way to address those gaps in information around uh, American history. Black History Month for me means to celebrate a diverse and amazing group of people who have really made enormous contributions to our society and to our country. And I think it's something very beautiful. Black History Month means to, to celebrate and to remember the history of uh, of the black students, of everyone that have had like a very hard history to arrive where they are today. Well, America's done some horrible things to the black community and it's important that we honor what, what they've been through and just show their importance. Black history means a lot to me because first of all myself, I'm from Africa, so like black, when I hear black history, it means a lot to me. Just like coming off like filling in like everything, which like basically from the top, so like learning about your history from your past it doesn't have to be just from your past it can be like what you are like what you went through just like how like slavery came about and those stuff which i think is really important black history month means everything to me because i'm black myself so we i have to recognize what black historical leaders did to the did to this country and what how helped us advance in this community uh, to me, Black History Month is a way that we can celebrate not only um, the innovations that have came from black culture, uh, but also a way that we can celebrate um, black culture as a whole. It's not just about the contributions that have been to history, but also about black culture in general um, as a way to kind of celebrate um, all the things that um, black people have struggled through and still managed to come out on top. It's a month to celebrate black excellence, so it's important to acknowledge what black people have been through. To me, Black History Month means celebrating all of the underrepresented voices in society and around his, throughout history. Um, it's good to acknowledge people and what they've done for the country. To me, Carter Woodson, is an icon and a role model for me simply because this is the gentleman who started, who was behind the whole idea of Black History Month. Um, and the reason uh, February has been cho was chosen to be uh, to showcase the Black History is because it uh, encompassed the birthdays of both Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. So for me, uh, my Black role model is definitely Nelson Mandela. I think he is just an amazing human being who really fought throughout his whole life for the dignity of his people and the sovereignty of his country. And he's just an amazing person to me. Uh, Michael Jordan, the basketball player, because uh, first I played basketball. Uh, not here for Arizona, but I used to play basketball since uh, I was born. I love playing basketball. And his story, his, uh, how he became the best basketball player ever, uh, it's phenomenal how he wasn't good and then with his work ethic and his uh, achievements throughout his entire life, uh, it's very inspiring and makes everybody want to be him. Uh, definitely Martin Luther King. Uh, he was he's, he was the main, he was like a huge figure uh, standing up for black rights and many other things too, uh, yeah. Barack Obama, the way it's not like just the way he acts, it's like the way he presents himself, like the way he he like brings himself in front of like people just to talk about what's going on or like the way he's caring. He said with like little kids just to hear what they have to say. 
which I, which I think is pretty good. I see Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Um, as a historical black leader because um, they wanted um, American American society to advance in this country and see how and treat black people as equals to white people. Uh, rather than one individual person, I would say the uh, the Harlem Hellfighters. Um, they were a unit of all African American men in World War One and World War Two, and they were the uh, American unit that had the most time in battle. And despite all of the racism and segregation that they faced in America, they still fought. They still fought to protect uh, our country. And when they came back from the war, they were still met with prejudice. And to me, knowing that what you deal with and what you're going home to and still fighting so hard to protect your country, that is one of the greatest things you can probably do as a human being. Um, I'd say Barack Obama because he showed black people that it's possible for them to do anything. I absolutely adore Congressman, the late Congressman John Lewis. Um, he was a giant walking through history, fought for voting rights, fought for civil rights, continued to fight until his last days, um, you know, working with Congress and stuff. I absolutely look up to that man 110%. He's what got me into politics and kind of fighting for what's right. University and college campuses are places where uh, knowledge and information are developed and disseminated. Therefore, this is definitely a place where younger people, when they come in, they need to understand and learn about America's black history, and therefore it is important to have Black History Month on campus. I think it's very important to celebrate black history on campus because we do have a lot of uh, black students on campus, and I believe that everyone should be represented. You don't appreciate as much as we should, and by having this month, for the black history, uh, it's very important because it makes you remember and make you understand and also realize that it's very important and that should be celebrated. Well, I think it's pretty, pretty much important just to like celebrate it on campus, getting students involved, trying to get like views of what's going on in their mind or like trying to like learn about the past. Not learning about just the past, but also the present which is also like important and also like the future generations just to get them knowing like what happened and how all this came about. I think it's um, important to celebrate Black History Month on campus um, to recognize what black leaders did to this country and make us make it known that black, um, black students on campus are not alone. Celebrating it as a college should be important because our role here at Iona is to learn and a lot of people might not know about uh, certain black role models and icons. Uh, like a lot of people know about Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, uh, but a lot of people may not know about some of the more lesser known figures in uh, black culture. It's important to show that um, everyone is accepted and to feel included. It's important to acknowledge injustices um, that we see. And then if we celebrate Black History Month through campus, it kind of helps us play a role in making the world just a better place in our own communities. So it's important to celebrate, of course.